Welcome back to Home Fires, which is a series of short film interviews conducted with Adela Santi Gallery artists. Today, we're really lucky to have Vika Lomasko with us direct from Moscow, where, like many of us, I suspect Vika is on lockdown at home, um, preparing for three months of solid art making. So, hi, Vika. Hi, Jeremy. What we're going to talk about um, is the exhibition, which is quite uh, significant for me and for you. It was the last time we met for your monumental mural, which is called Underwater. It's part of the exhibition of bread, wine, cars, security and peace, which is at the uh, Vienna Kunsthalle. Could you tell me a bit about the inspiration behind the mural? This is my favorite topic about the modern world. And uh, I uh, worked with this topic uh, in your gallery in Adela Santi with my solo exhibition, Separated Wall. Mm -hmm. And this mural for me, like I continue to work. I was uh, in uh, America, especially in New York in this November. And uh, I was living uh, in a hotel in my favorite district. Mm -hmm. With absolutely fantastic view from my windows, I was doing sketches from my window. It was absolutely amazing. Wake up and looked these views. I all time um, used uh, documental sketches in my murals. Vika has prepared this quite beautiful text, um, which I will read for you now, um, to describe the work uh, underwater. Whenever I return to Russia, I feel myself slowly sinking back to the bottom, like a creature who'd come out onto dry land, but was nonetheless born to live underwater. It seems as though Moscow, with poplars like kelp, lies hidden beneath thick layers of steely water. You must overcome its resistance with every step. On the other hand, in the underwater world, you can bury yourself in the silt and become one of the many other inconspicuous fish. There's nobody to compete with and nothing to compete for, nowhere to shine, no major commercial temptation, while the chaotic life all around provides many subjects for drawing. From time to time, daring new creatures are born in the underground worlds in order to climb out onto the land with their thin legs and join the ranks of the gutted dummies, international artists who stand in the gleaming vitrines of the world. This mural in particular is full of quite obvious symbols of Western culture and Eastern culture. Could you talk about the significance of some of these symbols? In the mural, there are two very famous art uh, object, uh, the black square by Kazimir Malevich mm -hmm. and uh, a shark of Damien Hirst. It's mm -hmm. also about uh, commercial art, commercial galleries, for example, mm -hmm. yeah? and uh, art uh, only for yourself. On the right of the picture, it's, it's your experience in New York and of America, which is above the water, and underneath mm -hmm. is your experience. It's about levels yes. of uh, art wall on the top uh, international table with glasses uh, with wine. Yes. And, uh, on bottom, uh, one very stupid and uh, greedy fish. Most people know your work from this from your book Other Russias which was sold mm -hmm. all over the world, uh, published by Penguin. Mm -hmm. And recently, in the last three years, you've been making very large murals. Why murals? Where does it come from? What's, what brought you to the, to the medium? I asked myself, is it uh, enough for art only to document uh, concrete cases, concrete yes. social situations? And my answer is not enough. In big format, I can uh, combine 
in one compositions uh, a lot of uh, cases from different times and different areas. It's my movement from documentary speech to poetic. I'm very love for this process, physical process, because uh, when I'm uh, drawing on sketchbook, it's only my right hand. And uh, when I work with uh, a big wall, uh, all my body in the working process, and it's really pleasure for me. Then uh, more my wool, then more my pleasure. Sure. So the bigger the wool, the greater your pleasure. Yes. Thank you very much, Vika. It's been fascinating, and we hope you all enjoy this film. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>